So my total has gone from $196 to $400. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit bittersweet. As I talked about in my last update video, I had ordered from Misguided and I was having some technical difficulty. I was really hoping to come to you guys today with a Misguided haul. Um, I was so excited about the items that I chose and yeah, moral of the story is that here we are. <laughs> with no clothing so I am just going to give you a little review on my experience and kind of what went down so I believe I placed my order with them last Friday morning um, I had chosen 13 items and the total came to C A meaning Canadian $212 and I just like really wanted to keep my budget like right at 200 or slightly under 200 just because that's kind of what I just wanted to treat myself with just $200 I was cool with I was signed into my account I had purchased from them before everything said Canadian everything was good to go my bag had all my items perfect and then as I was checking out I was just checking if there's any other discount codes I could use and it said check out with our app to save an extra 10% and I was like oh my god that would be like $20 off of $200 and I would be slightly under $200 like that is perfect I'm gonna do that I was so excited I signed into the app on my phone um, it's still under my account so my total still says 212 and then it applies a discount code for the extra 10% off Sorry, I'm checking. I have all the screenshots on my phone. I've just been in a week-long battle. Um, so yeah, then my total comes to $196 after tax and shipping and everything. And I was like, perfect. That makes total sense. Nowhere does it say it's in US dollars. Nowhere does it say that they don't support Canadian. On the website where it says check out using our app, there is no asterisk, no fine print that says it does not apply to Canada. Absolutely nothing at all. Just save 10% no disclaimers 10 percent you would think that applies to all <laughs> even upon checking into the app or checking out and saying okay accept my order nowhere does it say that it does not support canadian or canadian dollars or canada <laughs> so here i am so happy my total is 196 canadian dollars um, and yeah, they say that they're on it and I get my email saying it's processing and everything like that and Sunday morning I check my bank account and I've been charged however I was charged in US dollars so I was not too happy about that. Right now, especially during this whole COVID-19 experience, the Canadian dollar is just horrible against the American dollar right now. Um, this made my new total 200 and $86 or something like that um, that's a whole extra hundred dollars than what I was willing to pay so on top of that I know that there is going to be duties that were coming with it I was mentally prepared for the duties um, that I would have to pay when it gets to Canada so I was not ready to pay an extra hundred and then another extra who knows how much I do know how much that was now but we'll save that and now from spending a little hot 196 my total has gone up to approximately almost four hundred dollars by the time I get this package and I was not about it that's an error on your end there should be a clear disclaimer there should be a notice that I'm being charged an American there should be anything. I've ordered from them in the past and my order came out in Canadian dollars. No issues. But don't promote me checking out on your app if it doesn't support Canadian dollars. <laughs> so immediately before anything happens, right when the charge hits my bank account, I talk to their little online support because they don't have a phone number. So it says to contact them on Facebook, Messenger, or their instant chat, or I think... I don't remember what the other option is, but there's no way to speak to a real human. So immediately I just choose to go to their Facebook Messenger support and the first lady that I speak with, she basically tells me how to check out in Canadian and I was like, yes, I'm aware. When I was checking out on the computer, it did say Canadian dollars. However, if you check out using the app, it charges you in American dollars. She continued to describe how I can select Canadian dollars where I keep explaining to her that it was in Canadian dollars and I am aware of how to do that and she just says if you want a refund when a package arrives at my house I tell the person that I don't want it to send it back 
to them and then at that point when they receive it I can get my money back and then encourages me to replace my order in Canadian dollars this time and then she gives me the instructions again on how to select Canadian at this point I'm just so annoyed I was like are you okay I don't want to send my clothes back I want my clothes so I explained to her that this is the resolution I'm hoping for I would like for you to retract that charge in US dollars just cancel it refund me and just reissue it in Canadian dollars. I'm not saying I don't want to pay for the package. I do want to pay for the package, but in the 196 Canadian dollars that it says on your website. She says that it's not possible and because it was already processed and left their thing already. I don't even think it left. I think it was just processed. Um, she can't do that and basically to just send all the clothes back. If you know Misguided though, their stuff sells out so fast, the sizes are gone so fast. I have no hope whatsoever that I'm going to get these items again in my size, so I don't want to do that. Whatever. Facebook, my first conversation was a total write-off and I tell her to stop speaking to me as if I'm stupid because I don't appreciate her telling me four times how to select Canadian when I have a screenshot of my total in Canadian. <laughs> so the second person I speak to is on their live chat. Um, I'm convinced it was a robot. At this point I'm just starting to become annoyed from my previous conversation so I explained to her that the lady on Facebook was not helpful at all <laughs> and I explained my whole situation again and she says um, same thing basically. You can return it and we can give you your refund. And I was like, I don't want to return my clothes. I want my clothes. I want to make a YouTube video. I want to review it. I think they're cute. I just want to pay the correct price. Is that so hard? Basically, after complaining with her for a while, she said, okay, a member of our senior management will reach out to you within 24 to 72 hours something like that um, on email and I'm like okay great we're gonna get somewhere I have all my screenshots I have everything saved it's gonna go well <laughs> the management is going to refund me and charge me again at the correct price um, I asked her if she thinks that this would be possible and she's like probably what do I receive on email some automated response telling me how to check out in Canadian dollars <laughs> again I'm so livid. It's not even a real person. Um, I respond to that email and I was just let him have it. It was like, this is absolutely ridiculous. At this point, I just want to speak to a real human. The people on their chats are useless and the automated response that you get as an email is once again useless. So finally, I do get an email from a member of their senior management. <laughs> again, she just explains the same thing and I was like, how is a company going to not accept the blame for their mistake and then also in these hard times that they're speaking about in all of their Instagram posts and their promotions that we're trying to help you through these hard times why are you okay with charging someone an extra hundred dollars because your technology and your app messed up and you forgot to put a disclaimer why am I having to pay an extra hundred dollars for it so at this point, now I'm calling my credit card company, I want to dispute the charge. She's like, okay, well it hasn't fully posted to your account yet, just save all the screenshots and whatever, like we'll see what we can do from there. I'm like, okay, whatever, at least as a backup, I can just go to Visa and like they'll help me out. So I'm somewhat rest assured, but at this point, um, after I respond to the lady that reached out to me over email, some other lady reaches out to me on email once again absolutely useless at this point in my emails I'm just going off okay I'm explaining that it's their fault that they have horrible customer service and then also I'm getting those automatic automated responses that are like tell us how we did tell us about our service and I'm responding like one like on a scale of one to five I'm saying one like everyone's been unhelpful so at this point I've spoken to one two three four four people. In total I speak to eight. Throughout this whole week I've spoken to eight misguided staff members and all of them were absolutely useless. Finally I want a different member so <laughs> I go to their chat again and I ask them for an email address of someone on their senior management team that can help me. Um, 
once again, that lady tries to help me. I was like, no, I just want an email address. I don't want to speak to you. She gives me an email address. I send this massive detailed email this time with all of my screenshots of how they messed up. And what do I get in response? Another automated message saying that the email that was given to me isn't even a real email address and therefore it bounced back. So I just wasted a whole hour constructing my perfect email for it to go to no one. <laughs> So then I go back to the online chat and I ask another girl, like, let me speak to a member of senior management, please. Once again, she says, no, no, don't worry, I'll try to help you. I think she might have actually asked someone in her office if I could even get a refund and everyone is just saying no and I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they can't just cancel the charge and recharge me. I haven't even received the clothes yet. They probably haven't even left your building yet. They probably just are still in, I did check, they just got shipped and they were still in Manchester or wherever the heck and they still wouldn't give me the refund, so. Okay, so I think we're at six people that I've spoken to. At this point, I fully accepted it. I'm not getting my refund. I'm gonna have to pay $300 for these clothes. I'm gonna have to go to Visa and dispute it. I'm collecting all my things. And then I post on Instagram and someone brings it to my attention that I'm probably going to have to pay another $100 in duties when it gets here. And at that point, I was like, I am so absolutely over this. I'm sending it back. Like, I'm just fully going to cancel it and send it back. Just as, like, four of the people suggested to just cancel it and send it back, I'm just canceling it and sending it back. Done. <laughs> like, this has been a week of nightmare customer service so I'm done so finally I think this is person number seven that I speak to on this one is on live chat and I'm like I want to cancel this order number have it sent back to you I don't want it contact the person that you shipped it with tell them I don't want it and then <laughs> she's like okay we'll do that <laughs> finally <laughs> like you would rather not get the sale and get your clothes back than to just help me she's like okay I can contact Skynet on my end and you're gonna have to do it too on your end. So cool, I go right to Skynet, I find a person, I find an email address, I send them the message, do not send this package to me, I don't want it. I don't even want it to come to my door. I don't even wanna see the clothes, I'm so salty about it now. <laughs> So yeah, they say okay, and somehow I get another email address from another guy, Ben, another senior management, and at this point, he's absolutely useless, because he's like, hey Cassandra, I'm sorry you're so upset, but I see you canceled the order, so everything's good. I'm like, everything is not good. <laughs> I want an apology. I want an apology for not being helpful whatsoever. I want an apology for having the worst customer service I've ever seen. And I want disclaimers on your website. And I want you to take responsibility for no not having disclaimers on your website. And so after that, he's like, I'll make note of this and pass it along to our technical whatever people. What are they? developers I don't know so after all this I have literally like so many long angrily worded texts I told them I was like your service is absolutely trash I received better customer service from Aliexpress is that not the biggest diss that you are being compared to Aliexpress and that I have received better service on Aliexpress does that not tell you something <laughs> what and their response is well, if you ever want to place an order with us again in the future, be sure to use this code and you can save 10% off. 10. 10% for all of my sorrows and troubles and me fighting everyone and having the worst experience with a company ever. I can have 10% off. Thank you. No store credit. No 50% off. Just here enjoy 10%. I'm like, Ben, you're absolutely useless as well. <laughs> Thanks for reaching out. So then, the next morning, I wake up and I get a message from Skynet and they're like, your package has arrived. I'm like, oh no, I don't want the package to arrive. The email says, if you want it, please pay the duties of $90. <laughs> $90. So my total has gone from $196 to $400. <laughs> I'm over it. 
At this point, I still don't have my refund, but Ben says it's coming in three to five days. So Ben, if it's not here in five days, you're hearing from me all over again. I told him that I was going to make this video and still all he offered me was 10% off. So here we are. This is where we're at. The battle is still going. I don't have my money back. I refuse to do any more online shopping until I get that money back. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I really wish it was a try on haul for you guys, but it isn't. And if you're Canadian, do not order off the app. That's my advice. That's the takeaway from this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What is your experience with Misguided? And let me know what other store that I should be ordering from instead. But yeah, that's it for this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!